Well, hello, my lovelies. How is everyone out there in YouTube world doing? If you have not been here before, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that to have you here with me today. And if you have been here before, welcome back. I'm glad to have you here with me too. So for today's video, we are going to do a first impressions review of the Carly Bible collaboration with um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I have never tried any of their um, eyeshadow palettes. I know, right? Never have. Never have. But first, a little disclaimer. I am not any way, shape, or form encouraging you to go out and buy makeup. This is not a ploy for you to spend a bunch of money on makeup because that's not what I do on my channel. What I do on my channel is encourage you to be yourself, to do what makes you happy, no matter what that might be. Um, I started my channel as a way to help other people to um, understand breast cancer because it's for breast cancer awareness because um, me being a survivor of breast cancer even though I'm still kind of battling it I mean I went through like my treatments and everything but to me I still battle it because I battle it every single day of my life survivor is from day one as soon as you're told you have breast cancer you are a survivor because you have to learn to survive with that so that's my take on that and that's how my channel started and I started as to help other people to um, learn to cope with it because I had some friends that were having a really rough time with it. So I started with that and then it just kind of came unboxing and reviewing as I'm talking about things. So if you've been here before, you've heard me talk about that um, and you've heard me talk about how my channel started. So saying that, my channel is to help other people. So by doing reviews, it's kind of like, I don't know if it's helping you see what what I feel about it, but I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm kind of like my brain is is going a ma million miles a minute today because I have like three different videos I want to film. So you'll see this shirt on. I was going to change my shirt in between videos, but you know what? I'm not going to do that. I really don't care. So you'll see this shirt on in three different videos through the week because I have this video to film. I have my Sephora play, my play by Sephora, and then also have my giveaway box that I want to show you guys for the giveaway that ends next week. So I have three different videos to film. So my mind is like a million miles a minute on all these things that I want to talk about. So bear with me because I'm trying to figure out how I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say. So yeah, what I'm trying to say in the first three minutes of this video is that I want to be able to be an encouragement to you guys. I want to be able to, to tell you so many things without like my videos get so freaking long because I try to talk about things so I'm trying to think of a way to shorten them and I have not yet to figure out how to do that because I babble and I chat and I chat and I chat and I know people get bored with videos because I do that and I'm trying to think of a way to not to not do that but I like want to like open my heart to you guys because you guys have done that with me and that's what I do like that's the purpose of my video that's what I'm trying to say the purpose for me to start this channel was to help other people and that's what I want to encourage you guys to do. I want to encourage you guys to, to, to do things that make you happy. And if that is making subscription box purchases or making makeup purchases or whatever it might be, even if it's just getting on here and listening to people talk, if that's what it makes you happy, then, then do it by all means. So that being said, makeup makes me happy. Skincare makes me happy. So those little things in my life, snakes, for instance, I got two new snakes today. A friend of mine had two baby snakes that were kinked up, which means their spines are a little deformed. One of them has like a little hump in, in, in her back. They thought she thought it was a male, but it ended up being a female. So she can't be bred because she's got a hump. So if she was to try to, to have eggs in her, in her spine, they would get stuck and it would kill her. So she can't be bred. The other one's got some little spinal deformities, but you really have to feel her spine to find them. Um, but they can't be bred. So I get, I get these babies. When she has babies that are like that, she sends them to me and I like my kinky babies. So just call me kinky girl. <laughs> yeah. So I like those babies. Um, excuse me. I got, I'm not picking a booger. I really not. My, my nose ring turned on me and it drives me insane when it does that. Um, anyway, so I got two baby snakes today. So that's something else that makes me happy. So yeah, those are just a couple things that made me happy. And subscription boxes, because you know I have a shitload. Speaking of which, I got a new camping box. We love to go camping. And all our camping plans were canceled for this season so far because of the lockdowns. The one in June, we're not sure about yet. But the rest of them have been. So we're going to try to camp here in our yard, which we haven't figured out how we're going to do that yet. But I have a camping box coming. It's like a, a, a quarterly thing they do. And that's coming. It finally got shipped out. So... I'm looking forward to that. So anyway, this is the Carly Bible 
Sephora now has, they have, they're having a sale going, but this was actually on sale at Sephora. That's why I got it. It was on sale for, I think, $22 or something like that. But this is what it looks like. If you saw a video the other day where I showed it, this is what it looks like. So we are going to play with it a little while today. And I got some samples in on my face. This looks, might look a little weird. It's because I got in some samples from Sephora. Um, I got in, I'm going to show you what I got in. I got in a couple of foundation samples I wanted to try. I do use Fenty a lot, but I got in two different colors I wanted to try because I used number 170 in her hydrating foundation. But then I got in this other one, which is her regular foundation. And I got in the two colors I tried today was 105 and 145. 145 is very yellow. It's an it's a, a olive undertone. Um, but someone mentioned one time that they thought I had an olive undertone. So I tried that. And this is what color it looks like in the container. Um, I don't know if my settings say from last time. Yeah, yeah I guess it did. And it's, it's kind of dark. Um, but I did try it. And the first one I tried was the Charlotte Tilbury. And this is what the colors were. And they give you such a tiny amount. I mean, really. How in the hell can you do a, a face with those tiny little samples? This one ended up being too light. And that was three... And then there was a 4 and a 5.5. 5.5 obviously was too dark, um, which was that color there. But this color, which was the 4, which is a neutral, acted like it was pretty good. Um, it, it did work pretty good. I went back and like used it on spots. Um, but there's just not enough there to actually get a full face done. So that's why I had to go back in with the Fenty because their samples are enough. I mean, literally, I didn't use very much of it. It was like enough to... To do as you can tell there's still quite a bit left in there um to do like another full face but it's, it's too dark it was it, it was just too dark so i'm gonna throw that away but what i did do get my camera to refocus here um what i did do was i used um the lighter color for concealer you know to lighten for highlighting concealer and it works really good so but what i did do since sephora is having their their sale they're having a sale right now that's i think it's 10, 15, and 20, but I get 20 because I'm a rouge. They have like different levels um, based on like your spending habits throughout the year. And you know, I'm just, I'm addicted to Sephora guys, like addicted to Sephora and an Ulta, not as much Ulta as it used to be, even though like when you spend on there, you get points to, to use toward things, but you know, you get cash to use toward things to where Sephora, you just get like little samples like this, but I still like it. That's how I find out about different things. But since they're having a sale, I did order the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to try it and a full size, because that's the good thing about Sephora. Well, Ulta's the same way, but you can send it back. So that's a good thing. I'm gonna try it. So I got that and I did order the different color from um, Fenty because the color I have does seem it's a, like it's a tad bit too dark. So I am gonna try a lighter color and I am trying a lighter color of their, their um, concealer because I do have her the darker concealer and it's a little too dark. And I did get in the Huda. I've always wanted to try Huda Beauty. I haven't, I don't try anything from Huda. I've never tried anything from Huda. So I wanted to try, um, I hear so much about this, um, found the, the powder and it's the, um, it's called Easy Bake and it's, I, feel, I like, I hear so many people about it. Paige Corn talks about it all the time and a couple other YouTubers talk about it all the time, but I've been wanting to try it. And I just noticed I have lip oil spilled all over my, my bench here, um, on the table. But I've been wanting to try it for a long, long time, and I was waiting to see what some other people thought about it, and um, people like with dry skin. And I think Maya, if you're out there, do you use this? I think you use it. Um, but a couple other people I know uses it, and I thought, well, let me try it. So since they had their sale, I went ahead and ordered. I placed like four orders with them now because I keep remembering things I need. But they're having free shipping too, so that worked out good. But 20% off, you know. But it comes in like this little box like this. And it says uh, freshly baked. And it's like for baking, but I use it for powder. I just got it today. And I got um, two different colors in. I got sugar cookie and I got cupcake. And a sugar cookie is like a, just a white. And then a cupcake is like a lighter color. So you can see those two colors. And so far, I really like it. Like, I really like it. And people talk about a smell. I'm not smelling it. I don't know if it's just me. But so far, I'm not smelling it. I like it. And then I got in from Wonder Beauty. If you've seen me before, you know that I used the Trip for Two um, that I got in my um, January BoxyCharm. But they also had the other one that I hadn't tried yet. And this one is, um, let me see which one this one is. This Trip for Two is, the other one I have 
is um, the Bellini and Costa Ray. And this one is the Daiquiri and Tulum, I think. But that's this one. And I tried that today as far as um, the the bronzer. And I started to put this on, but I decided to wait. But I really like it. I like it a lot. I love the Wonder Beauty. Um, the bronzers. I love them so much. So I tried them. I think we're up to speed now. And I did my eyebrows a little different. I don't know if you can tell or not, but... Well, actually, this one's worse than the This one's up a little higher than this one. <laughs> there we go. Now they match. But we need to get it. We need to get into this because I want to do this as quickly as I can. I don't know if I can do that or not. I don't know. And I'm going to add a couple things to my giveaway box over here um, that, that I got in, like my Bare Minerals, the Rescue Complexion. So I'm going to let you guys know this. I did use the vanilla color out and I did order one of those. But the three colors that are left, I'm going to throw that in. So when, if you guys win a giveaway and you see one's missing, that's why. And same thing on my Fenty. I took those two colors out. But I can't, I'm not going to use the rest of the colors. So there's no sense in me keeping them. So they're going to be like in, a, in one of the giveaways that I do. Just to tell you all. Okay. So I'm going to just play with any of the colors. I'm not even going to be anything in particular. I'm just going to grab and go. And there's a little brush in here. It's a double-ended brush. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use the brush or not, honestly, because usually the brushes they put in these things aren't the best brushes. I don't, I just don't, I usually don't use the brushes that come. I like, I like my own brushes, so I usually, I usually don't use their brushes, because I like my, I like my bling brushes and my Juno. And then the Moodier, like I said, I've been trying those. I did order some brushes from, from Be Beaky Cosmetics, but it's been delayed in shipment for um, about three weeks or so. Um, it's only supposed to take like five days to get here, but it's, it's been delayed and I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but I did order that and all, oh, I got to tell you guys before I get any farther, cause this is taking like way too long to get to this point. I got in two sponges. I got two packs of them actually. And they're by Blend My Face. Maya suggested that I try them and you order them from Amazon and they come like so fast. I got, I just ordered them the other day and they weren't supposed to be here today. I got them yesterday, but they come in a two pack like this. And there's two different ones. There's a regular one like this, and then there's one like this. And they are so soft. And that's what I used to put my makeup on today. And they really are giving Juno a run for their money. Let me tell you. Because you guys know how much I love my Juno sponges. And my Juno sponges, I have the regular blue one, and I have the black one, which are the clouds, and I have the lavenders, and then I have their pink. And like, if you compare the pink to pink, you know, to be fair, compare the pink, of course, this is dampened. This one's softer than the Juno. So it is, it really is. Um, you know, they don't, they don't pay me. I paid for these myself. I think they were like 15 something for two. Um, and there is, they have, she has a coupon code that you can use on there for like 15% off or something like that. But I use this one for my, um, I use this side here for my foundation. And then I use like this side over here for the highlighting and then I use this for my powder and I really like them. They don't get really wet um, so they don't hold a lot of the moisture but they also don't absorb all the products so the product stays on top so you can you know you're not wasting it because I used like like I said I still had a lot of that foundation left to do my whole face so that was really good. Just wanted to throw that out there. Okay anyway I need to quit talking I need to get this done. I'm gonna use my finger like I usually do and I'm gonna use this one color the first color is color that's called Dolly Bolly Bolly B O L I. I can't remember how she pronounced that. And I watched her video on like what each color meant and what they were for. And I don't remember. I'm sorry, I don't remember, guys, but I don't. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna like put some colors on. And I'm gonna fast forward through all this because if not, it's it's gonna take too long. And my camera. Remember, I've changed the settings on this, so it's going to go out here in a minute. I'm already getting some fallout. <gasps> I forgot to put my base on. I forgot my P. Louise base. I want to go. I did have some concealer on that part, though, but I forgot my P. Louise. I saw the concealer on part of that, and I thought I had the P. Louise on, but I don't. And 
All right, that's gonna change the way that looks because I'm going to put it over top of it now. I told you, scatterbrained. Completely scatterbrained. And you're gonna see this video after my um, other videos I'm doing today because my giveaway and my Play by Sephora. Play by Sephora is going to go on first, then the giveaway, then this. So you'll see this one after those two. So I'll be able to tag them in this video. Okay. Okay. This is getting ready to cut off, so. When I come back, I'll do the, my makeup. It's not like showing up as bright as I thought it was going to. And a lot of fallout. All right, it's getting ready. Oh, cool. One thing I'm noticing with this setting is it turns. Okay, so it turns red right before it cuts off. The other setting didn't do that. This one does. That's really cool. I'm glad it does that. So it's like a little countdown. And then I'm using this color. Hopefully it'll work out. It's called Aura. And it's that, that um, this pink right there. So West Virginia has decided to close schools the rest of the school year. Which I think is an excellent idea, but they are going to try to do a graduation ceremony this summer. So I think that's really nice that they're going to do that. Because some kids work so hard, you know, this is their last year. And I know it's really hard on a lot of these kids to not, you know, be able to do that. So I think it's good that they're going to try to plan that. They're going to try to, you know, based on things that happen. So but they're still talking about how they're going to open businesses back up again. And they haven't, I don't think they did make any decisions on that yet. This is really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it the way that I can see it. But it is laying down really nice. I'm not getting a whole lot of fault with this one. And I think the reason I had so much with that first one is because I didn't have my base on. Um, so I think that's why. And something about this I would need to show you. Um, with this, it actually has a seal on it. So that way when you open it up, it doesn't go all over the place. So I like that aspect of it. And then it's got like, um, it's got a mesh like the Juno does, the Juno powder on the inside. And then I take, like, I, 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 I take, bleh, I tap it in there and I tap it on the lid. That way I don't have so much on the brush. I said I was going to fast forward through all this, but I'm talking through it because that way I can show you what I'm doing. Okay, that's not bad. I like that. What do I want to do with those Modier brushes because I really like those. I know they're in here. I got them all mixed in. I need to clean all my brushes, like do a deep, deep clean of my brushes. All right. You know, I really want to try this one purple up here. But it's too light. It's not going to show up. I'll just show you my finger what it looks like. And this is the color Mandala. Which is this one right here. Look at this. Look how pretty that is. I think that's really pretty. I like that. I wanted to put that on. But it's just it's too light. It's not going to show up. And then this other one over here is pretty. It looks um, like a smoky color. It's called J-O-D-E. I forgot how she pronounced that. I was going to remember too. Joe Day or something like that. And that's this one right here. That's pretty. That's one right there. Look at that. I might try that one. That's pretty. Oh, yeah, I like that. You gotta be careful with that. That might have some fallout because I just chunked it on there. Yeah, that's pretty. 
pretty, but the other is fallout in that one. And on one beside it's pretty too. On one beside it's got like a little bit of a shift of purple. And that's called, it's OA, OA. I'm not sure, but that's this one right here. And that's, that's this one right there. I think that's really pretty. Actually, it's this one. It's both of them. <laughs> I thought I'd use my both fingers to put it in there. But anyway, let me go back to the other color. If I can mix the other one in there or not, we'll see. Yeah, I've got, if you can tell it, I've got some thought on the face. I'm going to try to pop that other color in and see how much darker it is. It's, and eh, those two are kind of similar. There's a little bit of a monotone happening with those two colors. Yeah, I like, I like this palette. So far, I'm really liking it. I like the, the shimmer to it. It's a bit patchy um, because of the shimmer. You know, as a blend, it kind of does that. I'm actually going to go back um, and put some more of that pink color farther in. I really don't see anything for a highlight color, so what I'll probably do is use one of my highlighters for the brow bone and highlighter, highlight color. my lovely so what I'm going to do I'm going to try to fix this up a little bit here I find a color to put underneath <clears throat> um oh I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna use this color right here underneath it is called Stev so this one right here and I'm going to use that underneath. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. That pop of color, I like that a lot. I just realized I turned my lights up the other day. I didn't turn them back down, so I hope this is coming up through okay. And then I'm going to use this other color, which is called Cindy. My son has a dog named Cindy. And I'm going to put this color in closer up here. That's got a lot of kick up. That color there does. Oh, I do like that, though. I do like that. That's pretty. Okay, all right, I'm going to pick up one of my highlighters out to do um, my brow bone, and I'm going to do the eyeliner and everything else, and I'll be right back. Okay, my lovelies, I have returned, and I want to zoom you in and have you take a look and see what you think. I'm zooming the wrong way. Let's try this again, and we'll zoom you in. Mm, okay, so what do you think of the look? I probably have some mascara up in there because this mascara that I'm using is kind of wet. Look at that one eyelash. It's like, it's still really long. You can really see it now. It's just like one, hey, how are you? It wants to be the leader of the pack. It wants to show everybody how it's done. But I'm telling you, they're really growing. I'm very happy about that. And even the ones that were missing are starting to grow back. So that Lash Grande or Grande Lash MD, if you're missing eyelashes and you want your eyelashes to grow, go get it. It's worth the 65 bucks, let me tell you. It really, really is. Okay, thoughts on the palette. First off, love the packaging. Um, if you didn't see my last video where I did talk about the packaging, it looks like it's um, going to be hard, but it's not. It's very smooth. Love the packaging. I think it's gorgeous packaging, and it does have um, like a magnetic enclosure. That's the one thing. It's good, but it's bad because while I'm sitting here putting the makeup on, it kept wanting to close on me. <laughs> so that's the only thing. It has a nice mirror if you like mirrors. 
The colors, um, as you can tell, are very pretty. The only thing with when you get old, you know, like me, when you get old as dirt, the shimmers have a tendency to show more wrinkles. If you notice when I did zoom you guys in, I want to zoom you in again. I should have just left you zoom while I was talking about it. But you can, it really accentuates like the wrinkles. If I do this, you can see more shimmers, which that happens no matter what brand shimmers you use. But these, since I did use shimmers like all over, it did that. I did go back and put in, there's, there's a matte. There are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, I think. One, two, three, four, six mattes. Um, out of the palette, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Yeah, so six mattes out of the palette. And I did go back and put in Bare, which is this little light, like beigey coloring right here. I did put that like a little bit over this one because it was just like too much shimmer. So I added just a tiny bit of that over top of that. Um, and I'll show you the, the amount of kick up that was in the pan. So you can kind of see there's, there's quite a bit of kick up in the pan, but some people care about that, some don't. So it's just up to you and whether or not that makes a difference to you. But I really, really like it. Um, I won't know until later this evening as far as how it affects my, my lids and whether or not I'm going to have a reaction to it because the Manny MUA palette that I did, the one with Morphe, I don't know how his other palettes are because I've never used any of his other eye palettes, but that one, that night, my eyes itched like wildfire. So I know I'm not going to be able to use that palette. I don't know what I'm going to do with that palette because I can't give it to someone else since I've already used it because that's decam it's, you know, it's contaminated. So I can't give it to someone else. So I don't know what I'm going to use. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, maybe I can give it to like, you know, someone here locally, like a friend of mine or a family member or something like that. Um, but since I've touched it, I'm not going to be able to ship it off and give it to someone else that way. But I can't use it. My eyes swelled up. They itched. The next morning I woke up and they were itching. And I'm still having some itching like in the corners. And I don't know if that has anything to do with that or not because it has been a while. But it's driving me. It drove me insane. And my eyes swelled up. Never going to touch that palette again. So hopefully this won't do that. Since this one was $22.50 I think. But it's regularly $44. Um, but I really like it. I think the colors are gorgeous in it. Um, as you can tell, I mean, it was very pigmented. The color payoff is really nice. Like I said, I've never used um, an Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eye palette before. There was some fallout. I don't know whether that's typical with her palettes before. You guys that have palettes by her, if you could like chime in below and let me know if that's typical with her um, eyeshadow palettes. Like I said, I don't know, but I really, really like it. Um, highly rate it for me. I, I probably will buy another Anastasia Beverly Hills again if it goes on sale because, um, you know, the palettes are pretty expensive. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll get another one. I'm going to give another one a try because I really like that. I, I keep looking at the um, Rizzi one and I keep thinking I might want to try that one. But I haven't yet because I don't know. I'm thinking about it, but I just haven't, I haven't gone that route yet. And I did go grab out the only other Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills product that I own. I did have her Amrezy highlighter, but I sent that to Maya, a friend of mine. She wanted it, so I only used it two times. I swiped it once for here and swiped it a second time for here. Didn't like it. Sent it to her. But I got their loose highlighter, which is in the color, let me see here, Snowflake. And this is what the, the packaging looks like. It's really pretty. I just don't like loose highlighters that much. But I did use it. Um, I went back actually um, with the color, that one purple that I was talking about, um, which is, I just, I know I opened the package back up. But, um, which one was that one? That was that one purple that we talked about. I'm going to have to open it back up. All right, put it away. This purple right here that we talked about that I liked, that light color there. I tried to use that as a highlighter, but then it was like almost too much purple. So I grabbed that one out and I used that as a highlighter for my brow bone and an inner curl, inter, inner corner, inner corner. I used that for here. I did use it wet and then I used that for my other highlighters. I'm just not a big fan of loose highlighters because not only does it go everywhere, but it's kind of chunky, but it's pretty. I just don't, I don't use it hardly at all. Like I've had it for a year and I've used it maybe three times. I just don't use it a lot. And for my lips, I got a sample of the Giorgio Armani. And I've never tried anything by Giorgio Armani. And I got it from Sephora in my order yesterday. But it is this intense velvet color. And it, I don't know if it's still in there or not. Yeah, it's still some. It really got on my lips. Not my teeth really bad. But it's color number... Mm, there it is. Color number 501. There was 202, 400, and 501. And this is what the... The little package looks like um it came in it came in that 
And see, yesterday I had I didn't have any trouble with this thing focusing. Now today I am. Um, but this is what it looks like, and I use this color right here on the bottom. I was going to use this one, but I did red yesterday. But it's changing colors because look here and look here. It's like changing as it's on my lips, which I think is really weird. Um, when I first put it on, it didn't look like that. I did use my Fenty um, glass bomb that I got in my um, premium box last month from BoxyCharm. And it's in the color um, Diamond Milk. And I don't know if that's ch just changing or not. I did use my Trip for Two, my Daiquiri for my blush. Really like it. That's about it. Oh, yeah, I used my Charlotte Tilbury um, liner for my eyeliner. And like I said, I did use my G JDO um, mascara that I'm trying out for Amazon. That's about it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go film these other two videos. Um, thank you again for being here. I really, really appreciate it. You guys know how much I love you. If you don't, you need to know because I really do. I really love you. You mean the world to me. So go out there and take care of each other and be good to each other and check out my other videos, my giveaways. And I'm getting ready to go do my play by Sephora box, which you'll see that before. So yeah, you'll see the shirt again. Like I said, in the other two videos, you saw the shirt. So yeah. Anyway, I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.